Um, not expected. And we can't pick it up. Oh, wait. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We're back in Eyes of Ara, and we're here in like this upstairs area. We came from down there. We're just going to start looking around because we haven't gone to any of these rooms. And it looks like there's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and there's probably one more over here. So let's say seven, let's call it, or maybe not, maybe it's one of these outlooks. But there's six rooms for us to look at, and there are plenty of things, I'm sure, for us to figure out. First things first, I'm assuming that, like last time, this is the door. Yeah, this is the door to the next area. So this is, we have to find, eventually, this piece that goes here, and it'll... Maybe open it. Maybe there are pieces that go here. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, but uh, it looks like we also have to power something up because look at all these wires that run in there. They all come from these separate rooms. So let's first look at this thing because this... Yeah, so it looks like there might be something down there. Uh, and this weird, like, scabbard is also mirrored. There's another one down there as well. Same sort of scabbard. Uh... Paintings, which, okay, fine. These things. Okay. Clearly something slots in here, and this controls a lot of wires. These wires go... Oh, yeah, and these guys are running around. Great. Uh, these wires go somewhere? Can we look? Yeah, they just go into the wall. They probably go into this room. But it looks like this wire goes from that room here... At least something here. Okay, fine. Let's just start with this room first, if it opens. It does. All right, let's just start going room by room. Because as you can see, we have no inventory here whatsoever. Okay, there's another one of these. There really is something here. Somebody in the comments, I think, to the last episode said oh, it might be that, that weird dagger that we found with the two rotating blades. Um, but I couldn't get it out of the wall. That's the problem. So I, this has to be something else. No? No? That doesn't turn on. That's great. Oh, here we go. Nice. Let's leave it there for now. Uh, there is something under there. Hopefully there will be an explanation for what that is. Mm. Lovely. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. Hello, hello. Can we go up there? Yes, we can. But there is, I think, a loose painting here, which is why it's giving me the little icon. That's the door. Hello. Is that a painting? Oh, it's a photograph. Cool. Okay. This is a new area, so I guess more collectible, new collectibles. And somebody in the comments said that some collectibles uh, matter, probably like those blue orbs, and some don't. But we'll see. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Cool. Doesn't... There it is. Really? I mean, let's just... Out of curiosity. Maybe. Maybe it's upside down, right? Maybe they have to be upside down? Because it's facing in a mirror. Like that, like that, like that. No? I mean, the thing is, it's not very... One, two, three, Me, one, one, two, three, right? One, two, three, maybe, maybe, I don't know. That's a little tenuous, but not too tenuous, I suppose. Okay, but let's like let's just keep that in mind. Let's go up here. Oh, okay. I see. I'd like to leave this now. Thank you. Um. Really, really dark in here, and I think there's a. This looks like a chest, but we need to turn on the light. In order to see anything. Okay, somehow we have to power on the light. Maybe that's what's... 
Maybe that's what we have to do down there. Maybe this power's on the light. Move everything up a little bit. Hmm. I mean, ideally... Ideally, it might be that these three... Oh, you know what? I mean, I'm kidding myself if I know what this means. Okay, we'll come back. <laughs> Weird apparatus in the bathroom. I'm assuming that the thing under the sink controls the lights at the top. Okay, let's go to this room next. I don't know what that is, but let's just copy that. Uh, triangle, square, circle, triangle in the other direction, triangle. Okay, and that door is locked. Fine. And it goes to there, and I'm assuming that whatever happens here probably unlocks that door. Fine. Go down the hall. Actually, wait, hold on. Let's go back down the hall. Sorry. I just realized that what we didn't do was... Is there anything here? Anything? No. Okay, fine. Now we can walk down the hall. Bravely, shall we say? Okay, one, two, three... Yeah, okay, man. I get it. You're here. Ooh. Hello. Everyone has seen the lights now. At first it was curious, but now Mom and Alex are getting nervous. Alex isn't exploring as much anymore. He's been having bad dreams, and when he's not running off and hiding, he sends all of his time, spends all of his time drawing. Mom says the spirits are haunting us, that they don't want us here, and we should leave. She looks worried, and she's having trouble with her paintings. I've never seen her like this before. Uncle says she shouldn't be so superstitious. He says the lights are just robots he built as part of the work he's doing up in the tower, and that she shouldn't be afraid of a bunch of stupid toys. I don't know what to believe. I wish they wouldn't fight. I like it here. Okay. Sounds like one of those yellow stars. Oh, and obviously we need a um, a lever of some description. Okay. Let's see what else we got before we go into the rooms. Key. Nice. Look at this key. It's got this weird, like, Celtic knot on it. Cool. Uh, is there anything else we can look at? Anything else we can look at at all? No. Okay, so, this is the first door, then this is the door, then this. And they all have wires running out of them, and these two go straight to here. And then I'm assuming some something here powers that me uh, mechanism over on this side of the wall. Okay. Nice. Going in. This, oh, it's, it's another star in a cage, so there is going to be another constellation. Fine. I know there was a box. I know there was a box. Um, what's up here? What? Um, what? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's just quickly resketch this. Okay, there's a room. There's a table here, and there's a chair. There's a chair facing this way. There's a table with probably some paintings, and then the arrows go like this, and like this. No idea. No idea, guys. Um, let's see. I know there's a chest. There's a bunch of boxes. I'm not going to look at the boxes first. Um, is there anything on here? No. What about this? Yeah, let's start looking at this. Ah. This is actually... Really? Oh, check it out! Hold on, I didn't... <laughs> That's cool. That's a cool... I like that puzzle. So here's, here's how it goes. Check this out. Look at these symbols, right? I'm assuming I gotta line up these symbols. But you can only do so if they're in the right order. So cool, right? Because now we take this and take this, right? So we take this one, right? Because, because there's nothing here, so we need to weigh it down. Weigh down, now it opens up. Now we've got all the, all the pieces right. Yes. Um, not expected.
and we can't pick it up. Oh, wait. Do we have to pick it up? Hold on. Go back and see. Yes. Okay, cool. So we so we have to find four of those to light up each one of these lights. And then we at least have to find this central piece. And again, I don't know if we have to find something here. Okay. Um, this, by the way, this right here, uh, like the light lighting up, this is what I was telling... I, I, I can't remember. I think after, after Quern, we had a discussion in the comments about, you know, solving puzzles as they appear versus exploring the environment first and then solving puzzles. Let's go back in this room. Uh, and that's what I mean, is like, you don't learn that this device, or you might not re realize immediately that that device controls the light on the door and that you need four of those devices if you don't necessarily look first. At least that's, that's, my, that's the reasoning for why I keep doing the, these games the way I do. Um, okay, what's in the box? A music box. Which I don't think I can control yet. Okay, fine. Nothing here, nothing here. Oh, hello. Silly, you will... What? What? Okay, fine. This can't be an anagram. I mean, it could be, but let's hope it's not, because I'm terrible at anagrams. There's a chest here. And look at that. That's a knot, so let's just, let's just go ahead and assume, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. What is it? I don't know, but it's got this dowel, so does it go here, right, dowel to dowel, or something? Okay, well, it does go there, but it doesn't really work for me yet. Okay, fine. So we need another piece that goes here. I don't know what this does. This kind of... Oh, God, no. Can I light? Yeah, I light three of these up. Fine. I think it's a music puzzle. I th I really think it's a music puzzle. Okay, that's disconcerting in the highest way possible. Um, this room is filled with stuff I can't solve right now, uh, or maybe I can, but I, I just let's look at what other room, what the other rooms have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we can find. It's a painting room. Or a room with paintings in it. This. Ram's spirit guide. There's another photo. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Grrr. Ghost. Okay. Little flavor, I'm hoping. Fine. And then... Ooh, a combo lock. Four-digit four combo. Man, this, this place is just... Puzzle City, huh? All right, let's start looking around everywhere. There's the piece. Okay, we have to unlock that. So that's the thing that'll power up the door. Um, Mysteries of the Zodiac. Cool. Mother, can you please tell Alex to stop stealing my stuff? He pulled apart my music box again today. Uncle made that for me, and I don't want him to break it. I keep telling him they are not bath toys, but he won't listen to me. If he doesn't stop it, I'm going to start taking his things. See how he likes it. Okay, so that that so it's that was her room, I guess. And this is the mother's room. Okay, and makes sense. There's a lot of paintings down here. There's a lot of paintings with combo locks. One. Wait a minute. Oh God! Please tell me that. Okay. Because these look like unscrambling puzzles, too. See? Okay. Alright, let's just continue methodically doing this. There's something here. No. Something on the ceiling? No. Okay, what's this? Oh, dear lord. Um, okay, let's just rotate these so that they're correct. Or correct adjacent. Oh, that one's just a little bit. There we go. And... Huh. So I guess, do these slot into, like, the different boxes around the room? Maybe? Maybe? Okay. 
Let's look at what else we got. So we've got two combo lock uh, pictures, or paintings rather. Anything on there? No. Um, coins. I know that th those are probably the useless collectibles, but whatever, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. But why not? Um, I could have sworn this area would be something, but okay, no. Hello. Study of the Masters. About paintings. The Death of Socrates by Jacques-Louis David in 1787. Or, anyway, Allegory of the Arts. That's one of the... Um, uh, Sebastiano Ricci, 1692. The Expulsion of the Demons from Arezzo. Oh, Ghiotto di Bondone. Okay, fine. Probably butchered that last name. So that's that's the... That's the expulsion. That's the whatever the other one is. Hold on. Oh, coins. I did not expect to be there. No, this 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 shelf. Thank you. That one is Allegory of the Arts, and the Death of Socrates is probably around here somewhere. If I had to take a guess. Might be on that end. No, I don't know. Um, maybe it's not. Maybe Allegory of Socrates is somewhere else. Note. Floating lights, endless stars, and an inky blackness hiding demons. These images saturate my dreams. Where at first I found inspiration, I now find un only unease. I cannot sleep, I cannot focus, I, can I cannot put brush to canvas without hearing the castle's blood shriek deep in my ears. The spirits of this place do not wish to speak to me as I first thought. I wake afraid. Cannot remain here. Oh, so this is what she meant by her mother's having problems with paintings. Whoa! Hey! Okay. Uh, that was it? There was nothing else there? There was just some... Some... One of those robot ghosts? Or ghost robots? Whatever. The paint is the picture of the... I mean, it's it's pretty cute, right? I guess it's it's whoever drew this for their mom, right? Because monster, and then <laughs> the ghosts that everybody sees, but are really like machines. Okay, this other box, right? This should have another one of those. Ah, see, this piece goes in there, and I'm assuming we're gonna find the star. But let's what? Weird. Okay, weird perspective on that kid. Let's line up that. No. Weird. So that kid, that goes like this-ish. This can't be right. This is right. There we go. Let's get the star. Let's put this here. Oh, God. Oh god. Um so this is <laughs> Oh. You know what this is? I know what this is. Let's go with two, uh, so there's a 1 2 3 4 5 6, right? Six spaces. Two dots in the first space, zero dots in the second space, one dot, two dots, two dots, zero. The cipher for this is in the other room. That's what's going on. We'll do that uh, in a minute. Let's go ahead and put this one here so we can probably get the second combo. Okay, another six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one dot, two dots, two dots, zero dots, one dot, two dots. Okay. Did we finish looking around the room just before we leave? I just want to make sure we've looked at everything so that we can take whatever knowledge we need into the next space. Okay. Sorry, I'm just kind of excited that, that finally some puzzles are slowly starting to come together. Are we here? Yeah, they we're here. Okay, so. Two dots. Zero dots. One dot. Two dots. Two dots. Zero dots. Pollux. Okay. Oh, looks nice. One dot, two dots, 
two dots, zero dots, one dot, two dots. Thank you. Caster. Cool. C A S E O R. Okay, let's go back to the other room. Okay, uh, this way. Didn't really stop me. Well, I guess you have to pick a perspective when you come into the room. Okay, here we go. This one is Pollux. Uh, where is it? P O L L U X. Oh my god, this is just puzzle puzzle. What is this? Oh, I see. Let's try and line them up, I guess. This? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, is it? No, no. Completely forgetting that the spear. Leave this like... Well, it's not perfect, but sure. There we go. Right. But this key isn't for this, because look, it has three feet, and this only has two feet. Let's go to this one now. This one is Caster. C A S T O R. See, three feet go here. This one has two feet, right? Yes. Again, though, let's um, let's pick something. Yeah. So the horses, but they're facing in different directions. So this one can go here, and this one can go like this. Okay, cool. Um, three feet thing. Three feet. Three feet. Yeah. This one can go. Really? Come on. Lined up. I don't understand. No? Oh. Okay, it's weird. I would have could have sworn this was gonna work. No. Hmm. Can't be that. It can't be that cut. No, it can't be that. Hmm. Hmm. Is it that this has to be lined up on the bias here? Like on the line? Oh. Oh, because they snap. Oh, that's cool. Spring loaded. Oh my god. This goes in the hall. Totally goes in the hall. I'm going to call it right now. Okay. So let's solve this one. One, two, there we go. Nice, nice. These boxes, by the way, are awesome. There's, this was like three puzzles in one. Awesome. Hey, where's the other, where's the other? Yeah. Wait. Okay, that's not what I had in mind, but fine. Man, I'm just not... 100% on, on, like, what's happening in some of these game rooms. That's cool, though. Go over here and just see what goes in where. Because we know we have spaces here, right? We know this goes at least one of them. So we can't take it out. Fine. And this doesn't go here. Sorry. Hmm, but there should be a space for this. And... No. That sounded like uh, like something unlocking. Okay, so we have one more room. And then we have a bunch of like weirdo puzzles left, I think. I don't think we have anything here, but I think we have the music box in here and the the star within within a cage. And we need a uh, a lever over here. Okay, let's look at this room. Is it open? No. Wow. Huh. So let's see, let's see, let's think about what's left. This is, this is clearly, they were saying bath toys, right? This isn't going to go here, no. Because the, the, the sun stole the other piece here. Probably in the bathroom. I'm just going to go ahead and guess. That's the other one. That looks like the other, that looks like the, uh, the Socrates one. Because look, it's all messed up and like moved around and stuff. Hmm. So the kid, this is the kid's room, right? Because there are two bedrooms. Two beds, rather. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
And there's the weird code on the door over there. Go back here, real quick. There might be something else downstairs, so let's check out the bathroom one more time. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. No, we don't have enough information for that, but let's 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 do this. Let's go downstairs and see if maybe there's something else down there. I feel like there was at least one more thing, right? There was a clock. The clock puzzle was a thing. So you can move the hands. And then there's a button here, which I'm assuming links up with the, with the clock. What else is there, I wonder? I wonder if there's something that tells you about the upstairs piece. Right? No, I'm not going to go downstairs. What, are you crazy? Hmm. Hmm. No, that's not a thing. Interesting. Uh, okay. Oh. No. Let's go back upstairs. I'm going to check one more thing here. That light is definitely... Is that always on? Can't remember now. Uh, okay. Hmm. All right, so that's that is what it is. We don't have the, the second piece. We have a medallion, though. Uh, that door is locked. That door is this door is locked. We have this, which is also locked. Say it was a medallion up there, but it's not. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to call it there for now. I think we can make some pretty decent progress. The, the boxes in this room were awesome. That was great. And I like the link between these two rooms. Next time we come back, hopefully we will figure out what is going on in underneath the sink in the bathroom here. And maybe, maybe, this is what I guess. I'm guessing that if we work out what's happening with the sink down there, we can go upstairs to the attic in the crawl space, or in the attic, rather. Um... There is going to be the second piece of the music box. The music box will play a tune, and it'll have something to do with that star. That's my guess. I may be wrong. Uh, but in any case, it looks like we do need something else to progress in order to open that door and the one over there. And uh, hopefully we'll figure it out next time. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let me know that I'm doing something right. Let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts, if you have ideas, if you think I overlooked something or could be doing something differently, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time.